Hey guys, CJ Fox Guide here, and I have a finished video. You are interrupting, you little weirdo. Mm, okay, no okay. kick. Well, despite that distraction from my two lovely corgis, I have a flip through video to show with you. I have another YouTube artist. Uh, coloring book that I have finished. So here it is. May use Pop Culture Reimagine. This is her first one. I got this for Christmas a few years ago. Anyway, I got this a few years ago for Christmas and I've been slowly working on it. I had to put it away for a while, forgot about it, yada yada yada. But what I did is she, I will link her channel below. I'll link, uh, link on the Amazon so you could do it or just go through her channel and do it. Anyways, um, I got into her a few, 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 few years ago. It's been quite a while since I've been watching her. And so when she came up with a coloring book, I was like, oh, okay, I want to do that. So as in tales is pop culture reimagined. Here's the back of it to give you kind of an idea of it. I have the second volume of this. I know she's come up with like three volumes, I think. So what I did is I took the characters in here and I found new characters to color them up as, as you'll see. So let's get into it. All right, pretty basic start off. So the pages are, I want to give you kind of, I'll give you a little preview here. Black on the back, and, but you still want to put, if you're doing markers, you still want to put, because as you, as you see here, that they do bleed through her information, yada, 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 wonderful books. And then I use the back of almost anything that has something like this as a coloring, and as you can tell. So, getting into this, hopefully I'm still in print. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, this is the test page area, which I use, but not using the actual things. So to start off with, for sections, famous characters, the princesses. To start off, we've got the Harley Quinn from the front of the book, but I combined the classic Harley Quinn design with the New 52 Harley Quinn design for mine. Uh, most of these were colored with Prismacolors. Either the markers, color pencils, or watercolor pencils, which I use as color pencils. There's a couple of pages in here. I tried to date these and I jumped around at first and then towards the end I was just going picture by picture. Sure. This is Zelda and I just did Zelda. I couldn't come up with any good character to do it. And I am noticing that the block is smearing now all of a sudden on the page. Princess Peach. I tried to make this into Daisy. It just it wasn't coming out right every time I sketched something out onto it. So I just went with it. I tried to do mushroom, but my marker was tiny. All right, here's her Thor design, but I did it up as my Thor, Lady Thor, or Jane Foster Thor. I did this one with Crayolas because it's what I had available at the time. I did it. Um, her Wonder Woman design. I did the second Wonder Girl being Cassie Sandmark, who's one of my favorite sidekicks of the DC comics. Which is kind of weird because it's Detective Comics to become DC Comics to become... Anyways, so the Hulk design became She-Hulk as, as evident. I decided instead of doing gray, I would shade the white part of the skirt in green. Um, Iron Man became Iron Heart or River Williams. Comic book design, of course. Superman becomes Supergirl. Uh, another one I couldn't come up with a design, so it's just Princess Bogum, which, you know, my pinks. Pinks and gold are like two of the, like, like, why are they so, like, bleh? Okay, I believe this is the. Tenarius character from um, Game of Thrones, the Dragon Queen. I'm not into the series. I know 
basic knowledge of it, but I did Shadow Cat and Wonky from X Men for this design because it's, you know. This is Princess Monoki, but I did fit Yana and Cake from Adventure Time. Okay. Moves us on to section two, which is famous characters as babies. Starting off with her Sailor Moon design, I did my Sailor Sailor Harley Quinn design hang up as it, and I decided to switch over to markers for this design. I tried Baby Deadpool into Baby Gwenpool. Did the baby Woody as baby Andy, hence the hat and everything being slightly different. Uh, Thanos, hers was movie, mine is classic comics, designed. And that is that one. Female guy, then it says hot guys. Um, Jesse, can't go wrong with that, Team Rocket. I mean, the hair, there's nothing more you could do with that. This is Queen Bevel from Sailor Moon, and I did it as Black Lady from Sailor Moon. I believe this is the mermaid character from Cuphead. I'm not 100% sure, I'm not as familiar with the thing, but I did an Ukrima Nanami from the Mermaid Melody Peachy Peachy anime. Don't know anything about this that was coming up when I was doing research for my mermaid. Uh, from that same year, actually, 2022. Tells you how old I've had this book. Um, this is supposed to be one of the diamonds from Steven Universe, but I did Flame Princess instead. Moving on to Princesses as Monsters. This was her aerial monster design, and I did Ancient Merma Mermaidium Mon from Digimon. Oof, that was a mouthful. Um, her Cinderella design, I did Sally Skeleton from My Book Before Christmas. And I really liked how I did this because um, I did the overlay technique of taking a, a gray and putting over it to dull the colors down. That's what I did for the pumpkins. I don't lay out quite as well, but the this one right here, I just saw Jack Skeleton, Pumpkin King. All right, Elsa became Killer Frost from DC Comics. Jasmine became Tigra from Marvel Comics. Uh, less side note me character. Unless you're from the 90s, early 2000s, and you remember the very first Avengers cartoon from that era called um, United We Stand, I believe. This was one of the characters along with Hawkeye, Scarlet Witch, Vision, and the don't remember where the other characters were off the top of my head. Um, Belle became Wolfsbane from X-Men. Okay, this is Merida's design, and I did Medusa Gorgon from Soul Eater, one of my favorite animes and slash mangas. I haven't finished the manga yet, just because, I mean. Anyway, moving on, we've got um, Sleeping Beauty zombie as now Scarlet Witch zombie. It's evident this was around the time of uh, What If being on Disney for the first time. Uh, Rapunzel design, I just picked um, a snake Pokemon and I picked Superior for the design. Not much. Didn't know what else to do. Couldn't think of any snake characters really that fit. Um, Tiana became Swamp Thing from TC Comics. Just did using various techniques here. I just did Snow White because what other character has apples in the design? I mean, it, it just like okay. Moving on to famous characters as other genders. So this was supposed to be Ash Ketchum, but as a female. But I did Red from Pokemon Adventures manga. Yeah. Um, Wonder Woman became a variant of Gallantmon. I believe this one was supposed to be Rainbow Dash, and but I created it as Sonic from the Sonic Underground cartoon. Yes, that is the cartoon. Sonic X is the only anime so far that I know of. Uh, for the Natsu design, I decided to try and figure out a um, next-gen character that I kind of created from a story. It's called Natalie. Lucy and Natsu's kid from the future. Not that it'll ever happen. Her Harley Quinn, movie Harley Quinn design, all I could see was Sasuke with the hair. As evident by the fact that I did Sasuke from Naruto. 
Okay, the Joker that went along with that Harley became Duella Dent from the comics, who was also known as Joker's daughter. This is pre-New 52, not New 52's design. Comics, convoluted. Go figure. Didn't do anything for the Edward Scissorhands because I kind of liked it, although I think I kept the dress white instead of black. I don't remember. It's been a few years. This one here, I used some my birthday money and some other money and whatnot and got the big, huge Ohuhu brush marker set that's brush and bullet. So then I did Beetlejuice, no change there. Um, kind of inspired by those Bushi um, Shoho statues where they sexualize various characters. That's why I was kind of inspired here. I think I might have also used the horror line for Edward Scissorhands too. For Harry Potter, I did my character from Harry Potter, Potter Zara. Yes, she has pink hair. She was inspired by Tonks to dye her hair. Which she later find out was this spell that she tried that went horribly wrong and she's permanent. She's, she's not actually dyed. Um, Legend of Korra avatar character as Goku. I couldn't think of anything else and it just kind of reminded me of Dragon Ball. Moving on to villains as princesses. This is one of my favorites, this is Loki, but I did Lady Loki from the comics, not Sylvie from the series. Then for Princess, this one I did Princess Jasmine's purple outfit from an old um, Barbie-esque set that I had as a kid. But this one's supposed to be Jafar, obviously. And then uh, for Ursula, I based her design off of Vanessa, her human form. For the Thanos, I decided to go DC route and do the Lantern Corps. There's technically more than five, six, I believe there's seven technically with black and white because there's of the Lantern Corps. No, there's seven regular, then you add black and white to make nine and nine. Anyway, I did the design. The skin tone kind of worked out for Thanos or for the Lantern Corps, kind of the um, Guardians for the Green Lantern Corps. Moving on, I do not know exactly what character this was originally. I think it was Syndrome from The Incredibles, but I did it up as Huntress. As you can tell, you can see some of my modifications. Um, just left. Just I assumed with the balloon that this was it, the con from it, and then I uh, used uh, the bushy statues that I mentioned earlier to kind of give some ideas for the design on that. Jesse, I kept the same. I did markers just because that's what I had. Well, tomorrow I kept the same. I mean, what what, what other character are you gonna do for this one? I mean. Okay, for the nice, good Queen Bevel, I was originally going to do Dark Lady again, and then I realized I have Mistress Nine, and from Sailor Saturn's um, appearance, so I decided to do that one instead. For the Walking Phoenix Joker design, I went with a newer comic book character called Punchline. This is the Joker's girlfriend who replaced Harley Quinn when she decided she was becoming sane and good. I don't know, I'm not really connected with comic books that much anymore. And then for Keen Candy from Wreck-It Ralph, this one was bothering me because too much design elements to do Princess Bubblegum. And the other characters coming up really didn't have any association with candy. But then I came across some old art of mine that I did for my sister-in-law, and being from Ever After High, Madeline Hatter. I thought, oh, you know what, a little modification, we could do it. So that was that.
Um, my next video will probably be my sketchbook tour. I've been working on that one forever too. Just been doing more digital art just because it saves time and everything or whatever. Who knows? Saves supplies. That's more accurate. I also have the other, um, the second volume of this one to start. At some point, currently it is February, so I'm working on my Februarys. So I'm working on my bears. Follow me on social media, like and subscribe if you want to. I don't care, but thanks for watching, and I will box catch you later. Bye.